we have a data set that contains information about 20 employees, their regular worked hours, and their overtime hours. We also have the total hours worked, and that is a combination of the summation of the regular hours and the total hours, as you can see the data set. What we are trying to accomplish is to calculate the wage for each worker per week. And we have a, an instruction here highlighted in yellow. It explains that regular hours rate is $25 an hour and overtime hour rate is $40 an hour. The regular hours cannot exceed 40 hours a week, which means that every extra hour goes to the overtime. So in this case where we have 50 hours, 41, 41, 48, 41, 41, 47. These hours exceed 40 hours a week and they are in regular hours. It's not correct. If we went on to calculate the wage using what we have in the table, we would be we would end up paying these employees the wrong amount. Just based on the instruction, if I was to calculate the payment for each employee, it'll be 25 times the regular hours plus $50 an hour times the overtime hours. But based off this calculation, if you understand the formula, it's quite simple. I'm just multiplying regular hours times $25 an hour and overtime hours times $50 an hour summation to give me these results. Only problem is this amount is not correct because every employee that worked over 40 hours a week, anything above 40 hours goes to overtime. In this case, Andrew Moore should have 40 hours regular and 10 hours overtime. Benjamin Turner should have 40 hours regular, eight hours overtime because we're taking the extra one hour and adding it to the overtime hours. So how do I resolve this situation? I would use a pivot table and I would have to include a formula using an if statement within the formula in the pivot table. So let's get started. First step is to insert a pivot table. So in my pivot table, I will be selecting my employees' names. I have the regular hours, the overtime hours, but I'm not going to use these hours because they are not correct. I will be calculating, generating a calculated column. How do I get that done? Under the tabs, pivot table, analyze, I would go to the calculations group and select fields, items, and set, and then select calculated field. In the calculated field, I want to generate a new regular hour column, and I'll just call that RT, regular hour time. The formula for the regular hour time will be as, as thus, using the if statement, If regular hours is less than or equal to 40, because I'm trying not to exceed 40 hours, then display regular hours. If not, display 40, because that's the maximum that I'm looking for close bracket, add. So now I have a generated column called RT, just like I did. And it's going to display 
regular hours not exceeding 40 right let's create another one we're going to call this the overtime ot so in the overtime hours still using the if statement right if regular hours is greater than 40 I want you to display the overtime hours in addition to the difference between the regular hours and 40. So that would be regular hours minus 40, right? Close bracket, comma. And if that's not the case where the regular hours is not above 40, then display the overtime hours, the regular overtime hours. So I click on the overtime hours, close bracket, okay, or add, right? And then I'm going to create a third column called the correct wage as opposed to the wage that I have here that would be wrong. It will be right in some cases. In the case of Amanda that has only 38 regular hours, it's less than 40, so she wouldn't have any issues. But I'll create a new calculated column for the wages and I'll call that the correct wage. Okay. The formula for the correct wage will be twenty five hours times RT. That's regular time, the calculated field, right? Plus 50 hours times the generated overtime hours. Close bracket, enter. So it's all added. Now I have three generated columns, the RT, OT, and the correct wage. So let's see what happens. Yes, so Excel, the pivot table automatically selects the three generated tables columns and this calculation if you observe what i have here in this column none of these regular hours exceeds 40 hours right as opposed to what i had here previously in the case of andrew moore andrew moore initially had 50 regular hours which is not correct according to the rules of the payroll we're supposed to take out 10 hours from the 50 to make it 40 and add those 10 hours to the overtime hours, which meant that if I had used the first table, Andrew Moore would have gotten paid $1,250. But in the new table, Andrew Moore, in the new table where the regular hours is 40 hours and the overtime hours are 10 hours, he's getting paid 1500 I'm just going to do some format to make it look more professional. You see, that's how it's done. This is the correct table to be used. And I just showed you how to use a formula within a pivot table to have the correct calculations. If payroll had used the original table, Let's see what we could have got. So I'm just going to sum. The total number of hours worked would have on regular hours would have been 800 hours. The total amount paid for all the staff members would have been $26,000. But in real life, staff should have been paid $45,000. So I hope this helps and you can use this to solve problems that you might have um, come across using pivot tables in Excel. Click on the like button, subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks.